Stale seabeds can form part of an effective uh, integrated pest management grass weed control program. There's a couple of things you need to take into consideration before you go out and start cultivating in order to establish a stale seabed. So the first one will be uh, accurate identification of the grass weed that you're trying to control. The reason for this is that different grass weeds will have different dormancy and emergence patterns so they need different management. And the second thing is uh, you need to make sure that your cultivator has been set at the right depth. So the majority of grass weeds won't emerge from below five centimeters in the soil. So when you go out to till in order to establish your stale seabed, what you need to ensure is that you're not tilling too deep. So the absolute maximum you should be tilling is two inches. Depending on your grass weeds, you will, they'll have different, uh, different management strategies based around them. So for the likes of black grass, sterile grape brome, and volunteer cereals, you want to get in once the straw is removed from the field and cultivate straight away when there's sufficient moisture. If you leave these weed seeds on the surface for too long without any action, they'll tend to go dormant. Um, and with the likes of soft, meadow and rye brome, they need to be left on the soil surface for up to four weeks in order to break dormancy, dormancy as they need light to break dormancy. Um, the likes of oilseed rape, for instance, after, after, com after you finish harvesting, should be left on the soil surface again for, up to from, for between four to six weeks in order to break dormancy. So, you might be asking yourself, well, what does two inches look like when you're tilling? So, here we have a, a, lay, um, a grubber type machine, but probably a lighter disc is probably your best option when it comes to cultivating for stale seabeds. As you can see here, we've already done a bit of tilling. We've tilled here to approximately inch and a half. This is perfect when it comes to for, for getting your, your, your grass weeds to germinate. Any deeper than two inches and you're looking at reducing the amount of, uh, reducing the amount of grass weeds that will emerge. Ideally, when you're going to uh, establish a stale seabed, you should roll afterwards. The whole idea is you need to ensure you have maximum side, seed to soil contact and you're also helping to conserve moisture in the seabed. As I previously mentioned, uh, a lot of grass weeds they won't emerge from from depths below five centimeters within the soil profile. So in the UK, they've done a lot of work uh, specifically on brack grass seed emergence at different depths. So as you can see from the chart here, once you start burying seeds below two centimeters, you're starting down to 90% emergence. Once you get down below four centimeters, you're reducing again to about 85. But once you start burying seeds below the five centimeters, the reduction can be up to 40%. And as you go further down, it increases rapidly. So to sum up, the three main things you need to consider when you're going to establish a stale seabed. Target weed, depth of cultivation, consolidation.